Now, if enzyme inhibition is starting to get confusing, I would very much agree with you, but thankfully we're more or less done. <sighs> there are just two extra things that I'd like to talk about regarding the types of enzyme inhibition. So first, sometimes enzyme inhibitions don't strictly fall into one of these categories. They may overlap, and if you know the mechanism of action of the various types of inhibitors, then you did know that it is very possible for hybrid types of inhibitions to occur. And this is what we term as mixed inhibition. The most common one is a mixture of competitive and uncompetitive inhibition, which means that the inhibitor can block the active site by binding, but they can also bind to the enzyme substrate complex. Take note that this is not competitive in, not this is not non-competitive inhibition because there is competition for the active site involved. Second is the idea of non versus un. To most people, they are the same thing. I would love to think that they are the same thing, but unfortunately, they're not. <sighs> Definitely, de definitively speaking, non implies an absence of. So non-competitive inhibition is a little like everything but competitive inhibition. Un usually implies the opposite of. So the opposite of competitive is, well, something probably along the lines of collaborative. And if you think about uncompetitive inhibition, it loves collaboration so much that it refuses to bind until the substrate, its lovely partner, has been bound to the enzyme. This is just some extra stuff for you to well feel amused about yourself. <laughs>